they are making a difference on 938 Live. Every day there is an average of 50 people waiting for a bone marrow transplant in Singapore alone. And unfortunately, we learn from Bone Marrow Donor Program, the only bone marrow register in Singapore, that there are major challenges around educating the public about the bone marrow donation process. Today we talk to the 100th Singaporean donor, Lim Yun Song, about his experience and what was actually entailed in the donation process. The bone marrow process that I went through is actually called stem cell harvesting and it is an outpatient procedure. So I would describe it as somewhat like a blood donation, just that it involves two needles instead of one and it takes five to six hours. So I was warded in the morning at 8 a.m. and then discharged around 4 p.m. Yeah, so there's actually not much pain involved. I just need to lie down and keep my arms fairly straight. And all this took place in a very nice ward, uh, single bed, aircon, smart TV, friendly nurses. So after everything is over, the numbness on my hands and feet is uh, actually a pretty funny feeling that I felt, too, which causes me to wobble slightly here and there. So the doctor actually explained this to be a loss of calcium. Uh, and these feelings goes away in, uh, let's say, a few hours. Okay. Did that scare you, though? Uh, no, no, because it's all explained beforehand, so I actually expected it to happen. Where did they extract the bone marrow from? This is a stem cell harvesting process, which is done by extracting blood from my body. Uh, so it's like a blood donation procedure, which drew blood out from one of my arm, and then it goes into a machine where the stem cell is spin out of the machine, and then the rest of the blood will go back into your body. Why did you decide to do this? Actually, I signed up for this uh, bone marrow donation program during a blood donation drive. So at that point of time, there wasn't much consideration and registering is just a simple chick swap. So I thought, why not? Yeah. And then when I was called out by BMDP to tell me that I'm a potential match, and then I realized that this actually involved the survival of a person. And they also told me that the chances of getting a match is like 1 in 20,000, and their register of donors is very small. And so if I don't help the patient, what are the chances of him getting another donor? Yeah, so I thought I might do it. How did your family and friends react when you told them that you were going to do this donation? My family's initial concern were actually with the risk and the side effects of this procedure. But after knowing that there were actually no risk and no side effects, they were all very supportive. As for my friends, uh, most of them were actually surprised because they, they actually did not know the existence of this program and also this organization. But after explaining to them, they felt that it's a great thing to do. Did any of them sign up for the same program? Um, no, <laughs> not, not at this time yet. Would you do it again? Yeah, definitely, yeah. That was Lim Yun Song. He was the 100th Singaporean bone marrow donor. You can find out more about bone marrow donation at bmdp.org. This has been They Are Making a Difference. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Daphne Lim. They are making a difference on 938 Live.